Okay. okay. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. What up, YouTube? It's White Vest Dreezy, and I'm back on the channel with another reaction. Um, I randomly came up with that nickname. I think I randomly came up with that nickname. I don't have much of an intro, guys. There's really not much to say about, like, in this intro. Um, okay, we're doing a Patrice O'Neill reaction. One, it's a stand-up comedy reaction. Two, and it is titled Harassment Day, and I'm sure it has something to do with harassment. Yeah, but before we get to it, I've been wa I've been wondering when someone is gonna ask me why I always wear like a white vest, and it's not like one white vest. I have like a whole bunch of white vests. Am I really gonna explain myself when no one asked me about my white vest thing? Nah, bro, I'm being weird. Let's just get to it, guys. I'm being weird. I'm sorry. Let's discuss harassment. For a second, let's just—you feel it a little bit. Like, let's just discuss it. What, why can't I harass you <laughs> sometimes? Sometimes I can never harass you. Never. And I'm not talking about. Hey! Oh, ooga booga. Like, I'm talking just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the job. It's unfair that I can't harass you at the workplace. Like, you looking how you looking, and I can't just a little something. That has to do, like, you gotta be careful just to say, hey, you look beautiful today. That's how messed up the game is. I think you should be able to comment on any part of the body <laughs> that you see. If you. I'm serious. What's your name? What's your name? Jeannie. Now, Jeannie, no disrespect, but if I work with you, <laughs> I should be able to walk in and go, oh, Jeannie, beautiful uh, titty meat you have there. <laughs> Because I see that. But whatever the scientific term is, I'm looking at Mr. A 4.9 grade point average. What's the, what's the science term for uh, t the titty meat? What's the actual? And it's not the cleavage. I mean, the cleavage is the space in the middle. I'm talking about the meat, the, the meat, the titty part. And I'm not being foul, just, you know, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can go through the rest of the day without pretending that I don't see. Which, which, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, let's work out a deal. Don't get me fired. Having women work with men, right, is like having a grizzly bear work with salmon. <laughs> Dipped in honey, like so. Now you dip the salmon in the honey, right? Grizzly bears, and the salmon get to walk through comfortable with honey and fish and good morning, grizzly bears. <laughs> and the grizzly bears is like, hey. You can't even, you can't even growl, like, ah, what's up, fish? <laughs> oh my God, human resources, the grizzly bear just did grizzly bear. Stuff. So, <laughs> so, like, I can't even go, hey, good morning, good morning, fish, good morning. Oh, I can't touch it, like, oh, look no, at that. No, no, no. Oh, let me just get a little bit of that fish, a little bit. I had to stop it over there. I, I'm going to continue the reaction, but uh, no, no. Touching, no. No. Listen, in terms... Okay, let me just talk about what he's talking about, right? Uh, in terms of, like, those type of situations, all I know, or not all I know, or all I've experienced is, honestly, there's, like, two types of women in those situations of, like, 
maybe telling those type of jokes or making those type of comments or whatever and it doesn't even have to be an intense comment like even in the most like lightest comments you know they can get um not intense per se but they can get more like um vivacious if i've used that word correctly when you maybe make friends with the chick or maybe you guys are like interested in each other and you're in that space where you're flirting and all uh but in terms of like outside of that like even the lightest comments you really have to pick your battles like you really have to like like pick and choose which woman like no matter how attractive the woman is you really have to because some women they um like okay i hope i'm using this word right approve like they're prudes you know like they just kill the vibe like you could make like you won't even make a comment like directly to them uh or whatever but they'll just like stiffen up and really be i don't know maybe they feel unsafe around men or whatever or maybe they just like very like stiff people but they'll be like that and then you got some other women who are more like jokative if I'm, is that even a word like they're more like um what you call free in order to make those jokes they'll give you one right back you know they etc etc and in terms of like touching i have mistakenly touched like chicks who i thought they're attractive and it's never ended well in terms of like i thought they're attractive and then they uh want me back or whatever yes it's obviously ended well but in terms of like you just think she's attractive she's looking good and then you not like i don't this mistakenly like i'm making an excuse for like literally it's sort of it sounds like an excuse but it's not in like literally like i just like ended up maybe brushing or whatever and then they just snap at you and then they say ah you ever touch me again no 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 and i'm like yo bro i didn't even mean to you in this like area this cramped space or whatever it's not like i'm trying to grab you or whatever like i'm not that type of person i'm the type of person where if you say you maybe like ah, hey bro i've been even told to my face you ugly one two three four five when you say that i'm the type of nigga to just dip away I don't stay where I'm not wanted so I'm not that type of dude but like I've seen it firsthand when you even accidentally touch women like it never goes well it never goes well unless it's one of those chicks who like hangs out with guys and it's like all the guys grab her and she's just that that type of girl I've spoken about that before uh, but it never ends well now nah. you you're asking for trouble that's why me I I I I I'm a Christian but I act like Muslims like in terms of women I I, I keep my hands to myself cuz hey 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 get that honey oh my god fish and honey man that's my favorite usually I kill fish and eat them and stuff but I just wanted to just rub that rub a little bit in there god damn That's oppressive. Like you shouldn't even. And there's cameras everywhere. You can't do like weird stuff behind a back. Like, why would it be disrespectful? I said, what's your name? Ter- Terrell. If I go, hey Terrell, we work together. And I go, Terrell, hey, do me a favor. Let me know when you're getting up to go to the bathroom so I can sniff your chair. Ah, hell no. Because it's sexual, but that keeps me from being like I think. Look, I think there should be a holiday, uh, for lack of a better word, harassment day, but not that sounds whatever. But I mean, a day where I get to find out, like, because and this is why it should be harassment day because women get to be inappropriate sexually all the time. You get to be yeah. inappropriate. And when I say inappropriate, I mean say hello to me too close. Hi. <laughs> or some weird massage cuz you think we're friends and you good morning, a little kiss and he's just like, "Oh. Oh, boy, oh boy. Boy, boy, boy." And you think in your head, man, I wonder if I I wonder if I don't you know. <laughs> but harassment day allows you to be able to ask. Oh yeah, I say the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. <laughs> and it's and it's a beautiful day. Flowers and everything. You buy flowers, 
you just real cool. You walk up, you're respectful. You say, hey, how are you? You know, good afternoon, Terrell. Happy harassment day. <laughs> and you just, like, say, listen, I was wondering all year if you would suck my dick in a broom closet. <laughs> And you'd just be like, no, thank you, I'm not. And you'd be like, I'm, thank you, keep the flowers. I just thought, <laughs> I made a mistake. I thought you was a hoe all year. I was confused. I thought you uh... was a hoe, but you're not. Oh, shit. That's the end. Shit. Um, OK, uh, two things. Maybe it might uh, extend, but. Um... One, he's, he's right, women do get to be like maybe sexually inappropriate all the time. Uh, more times than uh, people care to admit. And even it's been a thing where honestly speaking, uh, you do see it around the world or whatever, where when men say they've been like sexually abused or whatever uh, by women, uh, it doesn't get taken that seriously. I, I've had to hold myself to account in multiple conversations I've had with my friends about this where i was like honestly even me i like i, I don't really take it seriously because like how can you be sexually assaulted by a woman you know uh, maybe if it's a woman that you aren't like you're not attracted to then it feels like oh you know but even if it's a woman you're attracted to and then she's in a pro like you see i still don't take it seriously <laughs> i still but yeah you see that that is the point uh, women do get to be inappropriate a lot of the time it's like that new uh, viral news uh, it's not that viral it's mostly hip-hop news i i think uh but i saw it was like on uh, american national tv where it's uh, this actor he he acts on power or he used to act in power he's got his own tv show now an extension of that uh, on a live stream uh in a, like in terms of like a, a popular streamers uh, channel on a live stream he a, a girl just walked up to him and grabbed his his dick like on that live stream and it's going viral like she just inappropriately like grabbed him or whatever whether he liked it or not because honestly it is uh it is sort of easy to turn a lot of men on like majority of us it's very easy to turn us on you know what i'm saying even if you're just like a basic looking woman you can uh but yeah she just like grabbed him out of nowhere and stuff and then really came up close to him like you know doing some sexual things so yeah it is a thing now in terms of the comments he's made the reason why I, I can't discontinue that is uh, I've said those comments too, but I picked my battles. As I said previously, I picked my battles, especially with like maybe girls that I, I, I've been attracted to, especially one girl that I, I, I wanted for the longest. Um, it's probably the, the girl I've, I wanted the most in my entire life. Probably, yeah. But the difference is, unlike every other girl, she was actually very cool. She was a very chilled girl. She was very, you know... She's very like, you know, <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah, yeah, she was such a chill person. She just took my comments for years. She had a boyfriend and stuff, but she always just like took it with a, with a pinch of salt. She was always like a very like cool person, a really cool female. I still uh, revere her to this day. And I think um, a year ago or so, like we talked after a while, because like after high school breaks up, guys. You really think you're not going to break up with your friends and you're going to make it work. But a lot of people like just naturally like move away from their friends and like go with their college friends or their varsity, whatever. They go with their work friends, whatever. And like everyone just like forgets each other. I feel like sometimes in my friends groups, I'm the only one where all my friends still talk to me, but they don't talk to each other. I tell them that all the time. It's very weird. Uh, but in terms of um, in terms of her, we talked after a while. And uh, I even, like, I apologized to her because I was like, hey, bro, you know, I just feel it in my spirit because I, I was in a point of, like, evolving as, like, a man in terms of how I think and how I treat, uh, uh, not just men, not, I mean, sorry, pause, pause, hey, hey pause, um, not just women, but men also, that's what I was trying to say, not just women, but men also in terms of, like, uh, figuring how to treat uh, my fellow uh, human beings better. And in that path, I, I felt it in my spirits to apologize to her for all those comments and all of that. It's like, one, you had a boyfriend. Two, it's like, bro, I really, like, you are one of the females in my life who I, I really, like, 
revere it's more than just like liking you or wanting to like sleep with you or whatever it's like you're a really like cool person you should like we have sort of the same mindset one two three four five we you know we like some of the same things and you're a really cool friend and uh i felt like even though it's not like i was like on some uh uh grape vibes or some shit like that but i was a little bit uh rude and i apologize for always treating you like some object when honestly you are a great friend and she again with her fucking personality was very cool about it she was like bro i honestly i didn't really fucking care bro that's just you and i i'm not that type of person to really like she's such a cool person like that chick uh i'm not gonna mention her name i put her name out here but yeah that's the perfect example of you have to pick your battles you can do it honestly speaking but it depends on how well you know the person like a lot of the time and uh their their personality because you could know a, a person like very well and then they're like uh, as i said approved you know even the lightest joke like stiffen up but then you could know someone and then they're just like the 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 female i mentioned and they just like you know that's my friend it is what it is you know it's like that 70s show for anyone who's ever watched that show where like the in the group of friends there's two girls and the guys always like make sexual comments and like you know do sexual things and stuff they don't like like always like like force themselves on the girls they don't force themselves but like they 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 like that and those chicks they just cool they just like those are the guys man we used to it it's not like anything bad is happening and those are our friends you know there's some females like that you really have to know how to pick them uh because if you if you don't know you will be in trouble uh but that's been me i like this like comment subscribe hit the post notifications and uh this has been a dope reaction i love patrice on you no homo r.i.p you can tell them all it's way too late way too late way too late to stay in this bit whole lot of students be trying it even the odds you just play with your wrist one hit of credits from niggas who wait to legit but i'm still trying to beat at the ride i had a slip up when shoddy was giving me 